It's time to close the garage exhaust fan for the year. This is an excellent fan, especially by today's standards, but the shutter is awful. There's so many gaps. And you can see even with the lights on in here, you can still see all the light that's coming in. So this is um, this is letting in a tremendous amount of cold air. And it's very windy today. It's going to be very windy for the next couple of days. So I think now is a good time to shut this for the year. I can feel a draft coming in right now. I haven't used it in a while, and I don't think that we're going to be using it for the rest of the year. So I saved and actually remembered where it was the blocks of insulation I put on the bottom so we have those still I don't know where the piece of wood went I think I might have used it for something else the so I gotta make a new one I already took the measurement and marked this, so we just need to put a right angle on here and then mark it out, cut, and then go outside and cut it. That's the pipe, so it'll go on the fan like this, and this will be the bottom of the fan. So grab the square and mark it. Not that it has to be perfect, it doesn't really matter. Just a temporary block up for the winter. Should really just get a better shutter because that shutter is abysmal. I sealed off this room very well last year in terms of weather weatherproofing, airtight the door and so forth, and it made a huge difference cost a lot less to heat this room last year than it did the previous year. Um, usually this is the last uh, the last part of the house I need to run the heat in because it's block. It holds the heat pretty well and then plus bringing the chiron when it bringing the chiron when it's hot gives a fair bit of heat into the room. And it's funny I was talking to uh, Kevin about the air conditioner in here in the summertime and uh, I was surprised because the 18,000 BTU does not give a damp cool which means it's not oversized but square footage wise it's grotesquely oversized and I think the difference is that there's so much mass in this room between all the air conditioners and the vehicle and the junk <laughs> that um, it really just takes that much thermal energy to change the temperature of um, the stuff in the room and it probably helps hold the heat too. The heater in here is I think it's a 14,000 BTU and I mean it's good down to like 5 or 10 degrees then it stops rising the temperature but it's good enough. I haven't got the heater out yet. Today is the first day I kind of wanted it. So I just have this one on for now. This will do the job. I only need a couple degrees. It's 65, 57 out. Not much load on it. Once I get this covered up and I start moving around in here doing some, some work and uh, get this fan covered up, it'll get a lot warmer. Okay. Who is honking and why? I'm not going to get out the power saw for this. It's not worth the time. We'll just use the manual saw. It doesn't really matter if it's that straight or not. I don't care.
little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. But the good thing about this saw is there's no chance of a lithium battery fire. There is with the other one. That's not good. I saw it right where it fell, but I don't see the bit itself. Here it is. It's not perfectly airtight on the top, but it's much better than it was. And we'll seal off the bottom with these foam pieces.
thing. It's, it's uh, as airtight as it's going to get. Should be a lot less drafty now.